on extra food, and then you ain't got the money to get it. So that sucks, so I ain't doing that again. But. Well, the good thing about being homeless, though, you get free to do what you want. Yeah. So. <laughs> I was just making 27 bucks an hour at the convention center, and I got robbed. I took all my money. I couldn't pay the union dues. I couldn't go back to work. Union you know? dues. I'm out here, but the unions are like gangsters too, ain't they? they? They wouldn't let me. They gave me eight days before they gonna tax my ass and make me pay, so I couldn't go back. You know, and the other company that I work for, they fucked them. But yeah, I don't think the union even does anything for you no more. They used to up in Boston. I worked for the Boston local. They was pretty good. And I got a guy. He, he's bigger than Trump, dude. He, he holds three positions in the corporation, which and that ain't even legal. How do you do that? Well, Nobody gonna tell him you can't because he'll back your ass. <laughs> yeah, he held three out of four positions by himself. I mean, that's not a corporation. That's a, that's a, that's Russia. <laughs> well, good to meet you guys, man. I'm glad you're out here doing this stuff. Yeah, you guys are doing good shit. I listen to some of these other jerks on the street. Just what, what other jerks? Well, I don't know. This just some other ones. Just the, 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 the pieces of shit that went red. What did you see him downtown? Yeah, them idiots, man. They Raving maniacs and then right. screaming and assholes. disrupting. You guys are very peaceful and stuff assholes, as well. Them guys actually, they <laughs> yeah, they were, actually, yeah, we, we confronted them numerous times. They run, yeah, yeah. They run from us. Literally. <laughs> Literally. Literally. One time we rode up. <laughs> they got yeah. their cars and peeled out one day. Right, because we got the cameras to expose people's weakness, man. Well, I watch you guys, man. God bless you. I'm here. Uh, and I already know all this shit. But that's... Listen. I was an extremely intelligent kid. I play chess on my phone. My father taught me to play chess when I was six years old. By the time I was nine, he couldn't beat me. I was so intelligent, and in school, I had to do drugs and drink because I couldn't understand why everybody was so stupid. Right, right. I had to bring myself yeah. down a yeah. bunch of to notches. Relate, to relate. Yeah. <laughs> I can relate with that. I used to do the same thing. Like, right. Then, when I was in seventh grade, That's funny as hell. my name's Benny. I was the coolest shit. I had this girl goes, listen to Benny. And I organized all kinds of shit. Everybody listened to me. And I got rid of detention. Right, right. Oh, they put us to detention. I goes, you got to listen to me, dude. Make detention your best class. I heard that. We're going to go and we're going to do whatever we want. So <laughs> you're going to stay for another hour. You're going to stay for another hour. Dude, it's 3 o'clock. You get out of school. We're there at 6 o'clock. They're there. I don't like your plan. I goes, stick with me. It was three days. And then the teacher was going, you're going to take Benny's detention because I got kids to feed. And they goes, so what? I'm listening to the meeting one day. So what? I'm single? And I gotta take Benny's detention in State of Six? Dude, everybody got detention but my class. Jay crazy. They, yeah, well, hey, God's on his dude, man. So they goes, right, right, right. They goes right. just stick with Benny, man. You got a plan. Uh, I had another dude, he goes like this. He goes, Benny, everybody come up to me. They goes, I'm failing. And my father's gonna ground me for the summer. I go, so what do you want me to do? <laughs> so I got him a plan. I'll hide the rank book. <laughs> in the teacher's own book. I didn't right, even right. steal it, right? Wow. He's all upset and he goes, everybody gets a zero if I don't get my rank book. Mr. Menard, I don't think my parents will mind if I get a zero as long as everybody does. <laughs> yeah, I'm bad, dude. <laughs> you know, I wish I could help the cause and, and you know, and I used to call me Benny with the Black Hood. I'm from, I'm from Boston. They, there, there was a dude, he, he shot heroin way long ago before that was even done, and the guy sold him some bad dope. They used to hang at the arcade and sell the dope. And his girlfriend was crying and said, Billy almost died, man. Rusty sold him some bad dope. I said, I got this. I went over to the arcade and he goes, Rusty, you sold Billy some bad dope. He goes, I'm sorry. I goes, no, you're not sorry, dude. You. You're done dealing. <laughs> you're done. You can either leave town, stop dealing, I'll either beat you up or call the police. I heard that. Yeah, dude, he, he was done. I mean, I'm a fixer, I'm a cleaner. I, 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 I get the root of the problem. Somebody owes you money, don't beat him up. Meet him at the bank. You know, Columbus needs something like that uh, now. Meet him at the bank. That my nephew, Columbus. my wife was a tightwad. She gave my nephew uh, a, a car for three months and he didn't pay us. I know everybody in town. I says, the Billy, he's working for, I goes, where's Dougie? They, he goes, he's at the bank, he just got a check. I shows up at the bank, he comes out, I'm sitting in the car with his girlfriend. Mm -hmm. I goes, is Dougie in the bank? He says, yeah. He come out, he goes, Uncle Benny, what are you doing? I says, get in. I took him home, wow. and I took the car. Right. You from Columbus, man? I took the car. Yeah, I'm from, uh, my, my, my daughter's a straight-A student that don't do drugs. And before Donald Trump ran for president, I used to say, Donald Trump can't buy my daughter, but he can rent her. I'm lucky, dude, because I got a 25-year-old daughter that's a straight-A student that don't do drugs. She's got medical problems. 
because she can't even go to school anymore. But she's writing a book. She loves Stephen King. So I'm blessed. But, and there just ain't enough people that stick together. Right, right. Hey, so he's about that, yeah. You're a cleaner? Oh, yeah, I'm a cleaner. I got some. Give me a cleaner one. All right. Isaiah 24 and 19. The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean, dissolved. Oh, that's a good one. The earth is moving secretly. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. It shall be removed like a cottage. And the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it. And it shall fall and not rise. Oh, that's the cleaning, though. You see, that is the ultimate cleaning of nuclear missiles. That's yeah. what's really going. That's going to fix it, all of this right there. Nah, cause you know what? The, 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 uh, let you me know get. The, you know the. Hang missiles, on, I'll be right back. You know the missiles are coming. Hell yeah. Cause listen, let me tell you something that I know. And you gotta be aware of things you hear of one time and then you don't hear it again because they won't let you put it on the news. But uh, the nuclear power plants ain't shit because Dow Company has uh, multiple companies that are exposed with no security that you can put bombs in and blow up and right, kill a right, couple hundred right. thousand people. Right. Now there was also another one. Remember when they, was, uh, they took a couple of governors and they took a plane that was gonna spray with anthrax and shit right, like that? Right, right. Okay, that was something to pay attention to. But. The guy from Boston, he knew he knew some uh, CIA guys, and he, Jay Severance was his name. He knew some shit. And after 9/11, there was no music. There was I just had to listen to this, but it was very educational, so I listened to it. and I listened good. There's 200 ambulances still stolen and missing in the United States that are sitting in storage bins right, somewhere. Right. And you know what they're going to be used for? Well, I can imagine some dirty bombs. Dirty bombs yeah. on the next terrorism attack because right, these motherfuckers right, right. wait for years. Right, right. Now picture this. You go to the hospital with an ambulance and a dirty bomb, even a couple of them blow up. That's terrorism, dude, because people... That's going to happen. That's going to happen. False flags, man. And, and now you don't know what to do because right, you're afraid right. to go to the hospital. Order out of chaos. Order I'm telling chaos. you, that, you know, it's ingenious what they, what, what they come up with and shit. Right, right. And, I, you know, part of me don't even blame them because the fucking government sucks. They pull all that, yeah, yeah. they pull all that fucking selling drugs themselves, fucking covert operations, killing their own fucking people. Yeah, that's where the heroin comes from the government. And they give them, there's a lot of talk about those nuclear facilities that, that are, uh, they, they're, they're, just mentioned, they're just mentioning a lot more in the news now. A nuclear warhead you know, came those, up missing, what, facilities. South Carolina? Under hey, those control. dirty bombs! Hey, those dirty bombs are the bomb, man. Because I tell you what, that's scary shit. A little fucking suitcase going to a hospital and all. That. Fuck the nuclear power plants, because they ain't even gonna fuck with that. They're probably too scared for that bullshit. I don't know. That, that fucking I don't know. Th those Dow power plants. Ooh. Believe me when I'm trying to tell you that that there's no security. Number right. one, right. it's so easy to get in, and 200,000 people are wiped out automatically. Right. Right. Check it out. Read the studies. Well, when attacks happen, there's gonna be multiple. Yeah, there's gonna be. A, there's gonna be multiple ones. Just like 9/11. These guys right. planned this shit. Yeah. Uh, they what, yeah. what, I guess yeah. Bin Laden waited seven years. Seven years he planned that. Bin Laden. Bin Laden. Yeah. Where on he been hiding? <laughs> bin Laden on opium right. and poppies. But check this out. But they said Saudi Arabia did it too. They, they said, did you, do you know what Saddam, you know about Saddam Hussein and what happened? What's that? He killed the president, so we trained him. They goes, you're cool as shit. <laughs> and then we threw him under the bus. Yeah, yeah. so that's why he didn't trust his cousins. Uh, he was killing everybody. Dude, now all of a sudden, you're by yourself. You know what I mean? After you do all these deeds, Kill your president, you kill it. Oh, oh, guess what? We don't, we don't like you anymore. They're good at that. They're saying, no, we remember when Reagan and Bush was in control, how they was uh, using Noriega to traffic, and then eventually turn against them. Exactly, yeah. dude. That's what they right. do. Uh, also, bad with the, you were laying bad with the devil. Eventually, he's going to come get you. That's what they do. They do it. To, uh, they do. They do it constantly. They don't stop. Because yeah. you know what? Yeah. Nobody has no skeletons in their closet. Everybody's got something to, uh, you know, to be. Right up against them. The is big, man. Oh, and the, 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 I mean, the devil will, will turn you against us. That's why I just lost my girlfriend to back to heroin and stuff. She was the kindest person. We was moving to Florida, open a heroin. I know how to buy property. I bought two houses in Columbus, one for six hundred dollars, one for five hundred dollars. Don't think I can't pull some shit off. And she used to say to me, "I know, Benny, you can do anything you want." We was moving to Florida, open a rehab for heroin addicts. 
she went back on heroin as soon as she got her income tax. And she wouldn't take any of my money. It's like a trickery. And then the devil just says, guess what? Here's your income tax. Fuck Benny. Go do your shit. Game. Yeah, he is a beast. Who did, a, who did a serpent go to in the garden? Yeah. Yeah. Who did he give the fruit to? Yeah. He gave the fruit to Eve. Yeah. He, he didn't go to Adam. Well, I used to make a joke. I used to make a joke. I goes, uh, woman, I got the devil inside. I go, look up there, you'll see the horn. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, she was a good girl, man. I'm, I'm really sad. I, I was flawed at that, but that was the drug. But she warned me ahead of time. And then she was a complete lesbian because she had been raped and beaten. And she goes, I, I don't like men. She ended up falling in love with me. She goes, I love my mom, my brothers, my girlfriend, and you. She goes, but I love heroin more. She straight up told me, man. She love heroin more. And then it straight up happened. I lost two other girls last month to that fentanyl shit. Ohio's not the worst. But I found out about the pill mills. Uh, that's what Jerry walked by here earlier. Yeah, this is the place. That's why I hang here. Yeah. Here you go. This is, uh, <laughs> this is Jeremiah 51. And I'm going to start at 1 and 42. Thus said the Lord, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon. And against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me a destroying wind. Yeah, Babylon is... America is known as Babylon in the Bible. Is it? Babylon means confusion. You know what I mean? Uh, what do you guys call, call yourself? What, what group are you? We're in? Israelites. We're Hebrew Israelites. You're an Israelite. Uh, well, I love that. You're it, an Israelite. Uh, I love Israel. Right. Like, but you're an Israelite though. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's your right. nationality. No, yeah. I love you guys. So. Um, this is we throw Israel under the bus. One of our biggest allies. Hey, here's, uh -uh. hey, when they did when they did when they did Saddam Hussein and shit. Here's my story. I told you I'm a cleaner, right? I goes. You do your cobalt operations, so you get out in the desert, right? And you point these fucking missiles at Israel. <laughs> Deal's over, dude. Well, of course, I didn't do that. That was Saddam Hussein. I goes, it'll be done. Because Israel will vaporize your ass. Because they're the Mossad and shit. They're cool as shit. Mossad, who do you think runs America? They, they control America. Israel got nukes that the world don't even know of. Oh, yeah. They're, they're cool. not even in that... that uh, that nuclear arms treaty thing, whatever nah, you want to call it. Yeah, they can have all the nukes they want. And then Australia, when the girls told me to go out there, they're also uh, a part of NATO, but you know what they said? We're not leaving until all you guys get on your boats and go over there and we'll be last, we'll play cleanup. 